before we begin, I just wanted to say, uh, if anybody comes across a November issue of Cineplex, I would very recommend you just take a few seconds to read uh, a certain article. On page 8, you will see an article done on an artist by the name of Daniel Torres. And I just want to say a big shout out to him and uh, amazing art. You guys got to check out some of I've been, you know, following him. No, I'm just <laughs> no but I, um, I just I'm amazed to see him in a Cineplex magazine. If you're ever in a, a convention or that and you see his art for sale, you know, check it out. Like, <laughs> buy some of his art amazing i want to buy some of his art but i haven't been able to get to a convention yet to buy any of his art but anyways main reason i'm shouting him out as well is because i know him he was in the same class as me uh in toronto film school and good friend and he also starred in my short film any and all alcohol uh i would recommend i'll link it at in the comments or at the end of the video just check him out so I would recommend checking out Pop Fiction. That's the that's an awesome name. <laughs> um, hello everyone, I'm Metro Ryan Darcy, and today I'm planning on going to see Overlord in IMAX. Now, what's uh, this movie? I was actually interested in seeing ever since I've heard about it, but I I wasn't gonna go see it so close to opening day because. Well, I felt like there wasn't really a need to see it right away. But then, when looking up showtimes for another film I'm keeping my eye on to see if, uh, if it's leaving theaters yet, because uh, I'm saving it for the end of my Halloween marathon review extravaganza, which is going to be done way after <laughs> Halloween. Yeah, IMAX. I, I thought it was very weird that this movie, specifically Overlord, is in IMAX. And I know for a fact it's not filmed with IMAX, but I was like... Yeah, you, you know what? I'll do it. I'll pay, I'll pay the extra money. No, I'm kidding. I didn't pay any money. I uh, used my courtesy ticket, which I got when I went to see the house with a clock on its walls and the, halfway through the movie in IMAX 3D. Uh, it cut out, so and they couldn't fix it. So uh, I got a free ticket. So technically, I'm seeing this movie for free, which is a great deal. <laughs> if I ever recommend seeing a movie for free, see a movie for free. It's that good of a deal. <laughs> Anyways, so one of the reasons why I'm excited for this movie is because it reminds me of a video game that I play and still used to play a long time ago and all that. Uh, long time ago, there was a, a special add-on to a Call of Duty game, World at War. I don't know if you remember this, kids. <laughs> wow, I feel I feel so old talking about this. Um, yeah, they they had a game mode called Zombies, and since the game was World War II, they had Nazi zombies. So it's like zombies but they're nazis and you know so i played that game a lot with my friends I, I remember hours on hours we had fun playing that game and all that um and so this movie like ever since the trailer dropped like i haven't really read the plot at all i just know it's a period piece and but alternate history a bit you know it's like a secret I think they're behind enemy lines of World War II and, you know, stumble upon something, something terrifying. <laughs> and it just felt like a zombie, like Nazi zombie game, the movie. That's what it kind of felt like. So I'm, I'm actually super excited to see the movie, even though I know it's nothing to do with Call of Duty and has nothing to do with uh, the their version, their story of Nazi zombies, which I love. Um, I love how crazy that got. I sort of lost track after the moon map, like the game after that, because I stopped playing games for a bit. So now I am slowly trying to get back into it, but I have to play. I have to play Black Ops Three, Black Ops Four. Actually, no, Black Ops Four is the new one, right? Yeah, that one just came out. See, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I've been hearing some reviews of the movie, and some reviews are saying it's a the greatest video game movie 
not based on a video game. So that right there, I'm like, that's good. That's good enough. That's what I look for in this type of movie. Um, name of it, Overlord, sounds kind of weird. Like at a glance, when not knowing about the film, it's like Overlord. That sounds like a that sounds like a straight to home video type of release. Low budget, nothing great, and all that. So if I didn't really know many more about it and I was just going off of titles I wouldn't really want to see Overlord but now that I know what it's about a bit because I did see the trailer but the trailer didn't seem like it showed a lot like it showed a lot but at the same time it didn't it's one of those type of trailers so I'm <laughs> the main main reason I'm absolutely excited to see this J.J. Abrams <laughs> yeah that's right he is producing it, I believe. He is a part in the production. His studio, Bad Robot, is involved. I know I'm going to have a good time with that. <laughs> I am a big J.J. Abrams fan ever since Alias. When I first watched... See, he is one of my favorite filmmakers. He's not my favorite director. He's not my favorite producer. He's not... Well, maybe he might be favorite producer. But he, he to me, is the filmmaker who can do it all. He, he can have his hand in every part of the production. He is... Yeah, so J.J. Abrams, he, he could do movies. He could do that. He could do anything. He's attached himself to Star Wars, and that's doing very well. Um, I think he's returning for the Star Wars Episode Nine. So, in the meanwhile, he's producing a horror film, okay? <laughs> Overlord. So, actually, now that I think about it, is this his first total horror film? Because, like, Super 8 was amazing. I love Super 8. And he directed that, and I think he also wrote it. I would have to check that out. I know Steven Spielberg produced that, but um, that was an amazing movie I loved. And that one sort of had elements of horror. But this one, you know, when you're dealing with zombies in a World War II setting, it's going to be a bit rated R. It has to be. <laughs> Come on. Anyways, uh, I'm super excited to watch it. And I'm freezing cold so i'm gonna go inside and warm up <laughs> anyways time to watch overload and imax Whoa. wow i can't see shit can you see shit <laughs> oh, not this again <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Mitchell Ryan Darcy, and I just watched, I just watched Overlord, I almost said Overwatch, Overlord, <laughs> great film, <laughs> that's the end of the review, <laughs> no, um, yes, um, perfect blend of period drama with that bit of, that taste that, it's like, it's like a layered cake of period drama with a little bit of inside of a bloody horror. <laughs> just that, just a little inside of bloody horror. Uh, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Like the cast seems, some of them seems recognizable. I wonder if they've been in something I've seen, but for the most part, I think, yeah, they're all, from what I can tell, they're all, they're not, you know, A-list actors or anything, but like in terms of name and star power, but they they did really well. I I I, I love the casting. Uh the structure of the story, it's like it's more of a adventure action with you know um you know a bit of suspense and like uh you know you know <laughs> behind enemy lines type movie, you know. Um pretty good. I enjoyed it. Um, it has nothing to really do, <laughs> it's not really Nazi zombies, but then again, they weren't advertising Nazi zombies, so it's, uh, like, I don't want to spoil it, but it's, but it was still overall a really great film, it had me in from beginning to end, I love, I love the end credits and the old, cre uh, and the intro credits, I meant, like, the style, the font, when they chose to show it and all that opening scene done really well like <laughs> yeah I, I, this movie's good uh I said, this is the kind of movie where it's like 
if it wasn't a brand new film, I'm pretty sure in five or ten years it'll be a Scream Factory Collector's Edition. Like, that, that, that's the kind of film this feels like it should be. <laughs> Good. I, I like the music. Um, a little bit of it was generic action-adventure type music, but... It had some good, like, there's a couple scores or tracks at certain moments where it's, like, really good. Like, there's a little, there, it sounds like at one point there was a, it sounded like, uh, the only way I could describe it is, like, it's like an opera vinyl. Like, a vinyl, but it's, like, bent, like, it goes between that and, it like, it comes in all, like, all, almost like Prince of Darkness, you know, with the orchestra or the opera where it's, like, Oh, oh, kind of like that, but like vinyl. It keeps. I don't know how to describe it. It's like switches. Uh, uh, like I, 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 I don't know. I just really like that. I have to look up the name of the song or the score part where it's at. But it was good. J.J. Abrams uh, definitely knows how to produce random films out of uh, left field. Um, yeah. And it's nice seeing him with, uh, uh, he's been established long enough that, and done enough stuff that he has, uh, the free letter things next to his name. It's nice to see him getting more recognition <laughs> in the terms of, uh, status. Like, you, you, <laughs> oh man, it's going to be, I'm, I'm so used to seeing his name without that now. So I wonder if that's going to be like that for everything. If you like, I don't know, if you like just the period drama, you might be able to tolerate the horror aspects of it. Um, but if you're a horror fanatic, you might be a little disappointed by the amount of period, like war type moments. But, you know, if you like horror and war movies, ooh, I got a movie for you. It's called Overlord. <laughs> Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you thought of Overlord. Thank you very much. It's so weird saying that. Thank you very much for watching. I want you to have a nice day or night or whatever time you watch this. Have a nice whatever. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And check out my short film, which features Daniel Torres as the mysterious bartender. And also check out uh, in the description the link to Pop 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 Fiction. <laughs>